Starting it off in the number five spot of the best budget gaming desks on Amazon is a desk from Kohl's Home, coming in at a price tag of $79.99. If you want to check out any of the five desks in this video, there's Amazon links below, Berta US, UK, Canada, and international links. But let's talk about this Kohl's Home desk. Firstly, there are no like those gamer desks, which just look awful. In my opinion, they're very ugly. They're way overpriced, and usually most of them are actually just really bad quality. But this Kohl's Home Desk, super reasonable price. The design and build quality here is exactly what you'd expect for the price. It uses fairly thin square metal tubing for the structure with metal crossbar cables on the backside, which I did check if you actually needed for the structure or if it was just there for the look, and you absolutely do need them for the structure. So if you don't like that look, you cannot remove them. As far as looks, it's clean and minimal and ready for some gamery setup. The build quality is solid for the price, but it does have some shortcomings. The tabletop is about 19 and 3 4th inches deep, which isn't a crazy depth, so fitting larger monitors may take a little bit more work. That depth is something that we do definitely want with a gaming setup, but obviously, well, beggars can't be choosers. So if you do want more depth, you will have to bump it up in price, but don't worry, there's plenty on the list that, well, do have the best depth. Speaking of that, let's talk about the size and color options here. There is a massive amount. You have a choice between 32, 39, 47, 55, and 63 inch sizes. Although I think the best value is either the 39 or the 47 inch desk sizes. If you do wanna bump it up to a larger size desk, well, I would recommend some of the other ones on this list as I think they're a better value. But the 47, like I have, I think it's a really good value. Now, as for the colors, you have a choice between black, white, black on white, brown wood, gray wood, vintage wood, and walnut wood. The woods, I mean, you can get them, but obviously they're very fake looking wood. Not a big fan of those, uh, but all the black and whites just look great. And obviously that's more a gamery thing. Style, right? As far as ease of build, it's just as easy as it comes. It's you know, there's not very many parts. Within five minutes with a drill, you're pretty much done. No problems. Directions are clear, no problems at all. Super easy to set it up. Overall, if you need a smaller, no frills desk that manages good durability and build quality on a super tight budget, this is a great pick. However, if you do want something with more flair or more beefy build quality, well then keep watching because that's what we're gonna talk about. So moving on to the number four spot, this is a desk from Green Forest coming in at a price tag of $99.99. The design here is very attractive with dual shelves on the right side for built-in storage. It's a very classic looking desk, which is a compliment. One of the design slash build quality choices here that I really, really like is the use of metal tubing here, but instead of it being square like the previous desk, it is actually rectangular, adding to the rigidity and overall attractive look of the desk. One of the many benefits of this design is that adding RGB strips to the rear of the desk is very, very easy, something that on the previous desk wasn't quite as easy to do. Now the desktop is a solid piece that has a slight wood texture to it. Now, while this is just a standard desktop width, it's not incredibly thick, but the price does reflect that. However, they do not cheap out on the depth here, which is incredibly important for having enough space for your gaming setup, your monitor, all your accessories like that. Maybe you have a large style gaming desk mat. Obviously, if you're on a super tight budget, maybe that's not something that you can always do. Or if you have a monitor arm, maybe that alleviates it. So the previous desk was that option. But if you do want to bump it over in price, well, the depth gets better here. Coming in at 23 and a half inches. That is a great depth for the price. As for the extras, we have already talked about the shelves here. They're great and I really enjoyed having them. Not to mention that they also look nice. This also comes with a clamp on monitor riser or riser thingy that you can go anywhere really on the desk. No, I don't really prefer that. I chose not to keep it on the desk, but you know, if you do have a monitor that's not height adjustable and well, you do want a riser or just to put something on it, well, you have it, it's an extra. Now for the size and color options here, they are great, but with an asterisk. This comes in either 39, 47, or 55 inch length variants. I obviously did get that 55 inch. However, I really only recommend the 55 inch, maybe the 47, but pretty much just the 55 inch. Now this is because the width actually changes substantially with each length while the price barely changes at all. So the best value here is by far the 55 inch. For the colors, you have a choice between white, 
black, gray, or walnut wood, which obviously looks amazingly good. That walnut wood is just, no, it doesn't look great, but that's up to you, whatever you wanna do for your gaming desk. Now, as far as ease of build here, this was a breeze. Uh, within 10 minutes, I was done. Obviously, there's a little bit more because there's, well, the shelf, but honestly, not very many parts. With the drill, it was 10 minutes. One person, it was just me making it, so totally fine, super easy to make, super easy to install. No problems. Overall, if you want a great looking 55 inch desk that doesn't break the bank, has a little bit of flair with the shelves, you cannot go wrong with this Green Forest desk. But with that, let's move on to the number three spot, which again comes from Cole's home. But now is an L-shaped desk coming in at a price tag of $169.99. If you guys do want a L-shaped desk, I think this is probably the best one you get on a budget because L-shaped desks get expensive. They're more expensive to make, ship, and design to be durable. So finding one on a budget is not an easy task, but I think this Coles Home one is the best that you can find without increasing your budget uh, over $300. Now this L-shaped desk looks great. One side measures a little over 47 inches with the other side measuring at 28.5 inches. And that is the inside length. You're gonna have a lot of different measurements that you're gonna see on Amazon, on their listing, but those are the inside length. So this is the length part, and then you get some extra over here on the left or the right, depending on how you build it. This also features an angular cutout for the corner, which I came up with a genius invention of putting a Govi Lyra RGB lamp in that space, making this look like a freaking spaceship. I mean, guys, tell me below, but I think it looks pretty awesome with that lamp there. Build quality here is actually really, really good. L-shaped desks typically struggle here as many of them can have a lot of like wobbliness. The frame is made out of plenty of strong metal square tubes or tubing square metal tubing. There's plenty of reinforcement and once built, this actually is very, very stable with no wobbliness at all. The desktop here has a wood texture to the top and is slightly thicker than your average desk thickness. Now the desktop itself obviously does come in two parts, which isn't too big of a deal as the seam is in a non-intrusive place. The only con here is that the depth of this desk isn't the best at about 19 inches. So similar to the first Coles Home one, maybe they're into that depth. But the thing that I would recommend with this is if you do wanna do an L-shaped desk, this isn't really a problem if you're buying a monitor arm. As you can see with, well, the setup that I did with this desk, once having a monitor arm, this allows you to have much bigger, extra large mouse pads and basically gives you enough of that depth. So I recommend this one. If you're gonna buy a monitor arm, I'll also link one below that I have in the video. It's like only like 35 bucks or something like that. So definitely something to consider with this L-shaped desk. Now, there are some cool quirks with this desk. A dual level shelf allows for things to be placed on the top shelf, maybe like a VR headset, a set of controllers. And on the lower shelf, this can actually fit a PC, which is so awesome. This space is actually large enough to fit many ATX cases if they aren't too tall. Shelf measures in at about 18.5 inches tall, so that's how much space you'll have for PC cases. About half of the ATX cases that I had in that room, which is about seven cases, I tried them out, about half of them fit. Just check if you have that height there um, and the width should be okay, but I'll put it on screen right here. That's the width. Additionally, on the opposite side, there was a color matched panel with hooks where you can hang things such as cables or maybe headphones, but they're fairly thin little hooks there. But honestly, I'm thinking, well, cables and things like that, great VR desk. I mean, this awesome VR desk. You have your main PC set up, and then on that left side, VR, okay? I don't know, it just it just fits in my head. For size and color options, this comes in what they call the 66 inch variant and then the 59 inch variant. Now I have the 66 inch variant and don't get the 59 inch. I would not recommend the 59 inch as it would be way too small. I would say this is 66 inches or 66 inches is definitely what I would like start at. Also the 59 doesn't seem to be that much less than this, so there's not really a reason to do that. For color options, you have a choice between white, black, gray, oak, and vintage wood. Now, as far as ease of build, obviously being an L-shaped desk, there was a lot more pieces than the other desks on this list. So uh, doing this by myself took me about 30 minutes, but that's completely by myself. If you had another person with you, you think maybe 15 minutes with a drill. The instructions were clear. I was never left confused. It was a very stress-free installation, um, but obviously a little bit harder as one person to hold those things. Not impossible. Again, it only took me 30 minutes and I was very relaxed doing it, but obviously L-shaped desks 
are going to take longer to build. Overall, if you must have an L-shaped desk but don't wanna break the bank, get yourself a monitor arm and this is the best L-shaped desk you can get for the money. But with that, let's move on to the number two spot and this is the FlexiSpot EN1 standing desk coming in at a price tag of $299.99. This is the only standing desk on the list. I wanted to include a standing desk and this, well, this is by far the best standing desk for the price. The design is a standing desk. And by that, I mean that as a compliment. It's clean, it has wide flat legs for stability, which actually look really good. Rectangular single metal beams on the left and right, very, very solid. Those metal beams are just asking for RGB and you might think, well, putting RGB strips on a standing desk doesn't seem like it would make sense on the legs, but those metal legs actually are attached to the upper end, so the lower end is the inside. If that's confusing you, it just means you can put RGBs going down the leg and have it still rise up and down with no problems. That is a huge pro. I mean, just think about how sick that would look as an RGB gaming setup. Yes. Now the overall construction is a ton of thick metal, except for obviously the tabletop itself, but this thing is solid with a capital S. Now the tabletop itself is a nice and thick and just solid surface with no texture on it, and I absolutely love it. This is the best quality tabletop on the list. Textures are great and everything, but the cleanness of this desktop is just very, very nice and typically only found on more expensive desks. However, one of the biggest advantages to this desktop is the massive depth here. Even though I got the 48 inch variant, this is 30 inches deep. That keeps this from feeling anything like a small desk. Large monitors with large stands are absolutely no problem here. RGB accessories, plants, headphone stands, huge desk mats, these are all things that can easily fit on the desk with no problem. That depth is everything, guys. Now for the max height, this goes from a low of 29 inches, which is pretty much your standard desk height. And then it goes all the way up to about 48.5 inches. I'm 5'8 and a half, and this was at the highest setting, way too tall for me. Even if you're like 6'5", it's gonna be perfect. Um, so I wouldn't really worry about your height. I know that 48.5 inches doesn't sound really tall, but trust me, it's like up here when I'm, when I'm standing. So do remember that your arms come all the way down when you type. If you're like seven foot, which I don't think many people are seven foot, I think it's only like 2,800 people in the world, then maybe this would be too low, but if you're not, you're gonna be okay. Size and color options here are obese, with a plethora of size options, starting off with the sizes at 40 by 24 inches. And again, when I'm saying by, I do mean that depth, that is important, guys. The size that I got is the next up, the 48 by 30. And the 48 is the deepest variant. I love that depth. 55 by 28, which is also probably the, that's probably the prime. If I was gonna get a main workstation, 55 by 28, that would be awesome. And then 60 by 24. Now again, 24 is a really nice depth. That's plenty of depth. The 30 is way overkill, but it's really nice to have in that smaller form factor. Now, personally, I think the best option here is maybe the 55 by 28 and then the 48 by 30. I mean, the 30 inches is great, uh, but that 55 inch with the extra length and the depth, yes, 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 yes. FlexiSpot got this so right with the depth here. Now, for the ease of build, I know a lot of you might be a little bit scared because of the ease of build here, but this is actually, in a way, a little bit easier because you're using bolts on metal rather than bolts on tubing which is a little bit different. So it's actually kind of easier to build this. One of the biggest praises I'm going to give in this video is that FlexiSpot does their instructions unbelievably well. Like this is Lego level quality of good instructions. No problem following this. Everything's labeled, it's totally a breeze. It took me 15 minutes by myself to make this, which yes, you can make the standing desk by yourself even though it's very heavy. One thing I will say that wasn't mentioned very clearly on the instructions, but well, you're seeing it right now. Once you build this, hold the down arrow to make this go all the way down and then keep holding it and it will kind of lower and bump right back up and that resets it, make sure both legs are perfectly leveled. So yeah, there's a little tip. Overall, the FlexiSpot EN1 is by far the best value per dollar standing desk you can buy. While the competition may be cheaper, they cheap out on the desktop, almost always being two or more pieces with ugly seams. Not to mention cheaping out on the motor. FlexiSpot doesn't do any of this, and honestly, the extremely high quality desktop wins me over every time. But with that, let's move on to the number one best gaming desk you can buy. I have been asked a thousand times what this desk is, and that 
that is the Tribe Signs Desk. Coming in at a price tag of $176.99 for the 63 inch variant. This is the desk that I've been using for the longest. I've bought four of these desks in all different sizes, shapes, and colors. So the design, what is it? Well, it's beautifully modern and simple. It's very, very tasteful. One of the things I absolutely love about this is the thick desktop and the thick metal legs. Not only does this make the look of the desk awesome for gaming setups, office setups, pretty much any kind of setup, it really fits everything, but it makes it significantly easier to cable manage and hide those cables for a very clean setup. Not to mention the thickness of the desk allows for RGB strips to be installed super easily, and when they are, they look epic. I've done RGB strips just on the back of the desk and then RGB strips going on the back of the desk and then up and down those legs, which looks absolutely gamery, dude. All right, but let's talk about the actual build quality here. It is ridiculously solid. I don't know if you can see on camera how much different the size of those huge metal tubes are versus the other desks, but this is the sturdiest desk I have ever gotten online besides standing desks. And because of that, I've actually bought, well, like I said, four of them. The metal legs are incredibly thick and even without a crossbar, it doesn't need it as this does not wobble, shake, or in any way feel cheap or chintzy. Now, one of the biggest things about this desk is not just the length size, but the depth here. Well, you guys know how much I've been talking about depth. The main point is the depth is great here. 23.6 inches, basically 24 inches, plenty of space for big monitors, big monitor stands, as well as your XL gaming pads. Now, one last thing is this does have screw adjustable legs, uh, like most desks, honestly, but these are quite wide, which is nice for that stability. So you can't adjust it with your floor. Now the desktop does have that wood kind of texture, uh, like basically all of these do except for the flexi spot, um, which is nice. I think it looks nice and it's not intrusive and it looks pretty good. It doesn't look fake. Now the size and color options are immense here. Firstly, for the size, you can get this in 47 inches, 55 inches and 63 inches. For the color options, you have black, white on black, and that is with black legs, a brown wood top, a walnut top on black legs or white legs, white on white, which is one of my personal favorites looking so spaceshipy, and then white on gold legs for all of the glam girls out there. Men can get it too, but I mean, I, I just feel like that's like very like Target, and I mean Target like the store, like that should be in Target, that's what it looks like. All right, ease of build, this is by far the easiest to build on the list. Yes, even when compared to the first desk, this is the easiest, the reason being is that the metal frame comes pre-attached to that desktop, which means literally you get it out, you put those legs in, screw them in, screw the crossbar of the legs in, and you're done. That's it, that's literally it. Now, one of the benefits here is that because you don't have to take a lot apart, if you move a lot, which I've actually moved three different times with these desks, taking them apart, re-put them together, taking them apart, and re-put them together. And I think one more time with a few of them just because I stored them and then took them out of storage, they don't break. They don't have any issues. The durability here is ridiculously good. That desktop is nice and thick and those metal legs, well, what's gonna happen to them? Overall, this is not only the best quality desk you can buy online, but it looks amazing, it feels amazing, and it has tons of color and size options. And because of the durability, this will last you a lifetime. Again, if you wanna check out any of the five desks in this video, there's Amazon links below for the US, UK, Canada, and international links. This was such a fun and very difficult video to make, so make sure sure to subscribe below if you want more of these top five videos. I tested a bunch of desks for you guys and I know like a thousand people have been asking me, what is that Tribe Science desk? Well guys, now you have it. That's a Tribe Science desk. This is Tech Review and I'll see you guys in the next video.